everything you're about to see could be true, or it could be the figment of our celebrity's imagination. It all depends on whether you believe. Have we all been here before? In a past life? If we'd been here before, who were we? Many people believe that under deep relaxation, they've recalled vivid and detailed memories of past lives. The question is, is it true? Some people believe that past life regression is a way of exploring the idea that we've all been here before. We'll be taking our celebrity into their subconscious using a form of hypnosis. The often startling revelations will be put to the test as our history detective follows the clues looking for solid evidence. Are these memories of past lives or just fantasy? The experts will have their say, but in the end, it's up to you to decide. What do you believe? Have we been here before? Mother of three and Swindon's most famous export, Melinda Messenger will join us today to explore the idea of past lives. Since making her mark as a favourite pin-up, Melinda has gone on to present her own TV shows, such as Melinda's Big Night In. But how does this vivacious character feel about the idea that she could have lived before? I'm very open to the idea of past lives. I do believe um, that we have a soul. I do believe that that soul, uh, it, it doesn't end in this life and that it, it is a continuous process. I'm very protective over my children and, and in fact all children, you know, and it's something I'm deeply passionate about. And, and I sometimes wonder, God, am I, am I too much that way? You know, is that, am I quite extreme? Because, you know, I would adopt every child under the sun if I could. And I know that that perhaps isn't kind of average or normal um, reaction. So I do wonder, yeah, maybe there's something there. I'm, I know that I'm, you know, massively, massively protective of, of children. Past life regression is a journey into the subconscious mind. It can reveal vivid and emotional stories that appear to take place in a past life. So, time for Melinda to get started and put herself in the hands of Andrea Fawkes, our regression therapist. I am really looking forward to, to being regressed, really looking forward to it. Hello, Melinda. Are you all ready to go now? Past life regression can often be used as a form of therapy. Andrea believes that pain in this life can often be linked to negative experiences in past lives. When we go back to a past life, what we see and experience in that past life is about gaining wisdom and insight about who our soul is and what we're here for and what we're here to learn about, really. And that doesn't mean we can make excuses for our behaviour in this lifetime. It means we can help to improve our behaviour and become basically better people. What you have to do now is tuck yourself up in here and then we're ready to begin. It's nice and cosy. Yeah. To begin the session, Andrea needs Melinda to become deeply relaxed through an hypnotic, calming voice. She intends to access Melinda's subconscious and gently open up any past life memories that she may hold within. Now that your eyelids are closed, my voice will travel with you deep into your subconscious mind. Three, two, one. What do you sense now? Can you sense if you've got any feet or any body? Yes, I think so, yes. OK. Do you sense whether you're male or female? Female. Do you know what your name is? No. And how old do you sense yourself to be? Old. How 60. old? 60. 60-ish. And what kind of clothes are you wearing? Sack. A sack. <laughs> what kind of sack are you wearing? Just like a dirty old cloth. And where are you? Are you inside or outside? Outside. It's uncomfortable there. It's painful and I can see a cross. OK. Or a sword. Initially, that's like a cross. It's a sword. Just allow yourself to drift into the life now that that sword or that cross belongs to you. Very dark, actually. 
You, is it warm or cold where you are? Very cold, very dark. Can't really see anything, I'm just shadowy. Like a big heavy cloth. Where's the heavy cloth? Over someone's head, my head or someone's head. See a sword and a helmet. Uh, like a what kind silver of... long hat helmet with a tuft on the top. And where is this? Is this something you're holding or someone else is holding or someone's wearing? Somebody's wearing it. Who's wearing it? Somebody's... I don't know who they are. So you don't know this person? And are they male or female? Male. Are you aware of having any family? Do you have any family? No. Is there anyone you love or care about? No. Was there ever anyone you loved or cared? Yes. Who did you love or care about? <laughs> Little baby. What happened to the baby? Whose baby was it? It was my baby. What happened to the baby? Do you know what happened? Tell me what happened to the baby. Was it very painful? How old were you when that happened? How old? Do you know who the father of the baby is? Did you have a partner? No. Was the father of the baby someone you loved or cared about? Did the baby die? How old was the baby when it died? Pretty little. Was it sick or not sick? It was sick. And was this the only baby you had? Yes. What can you see now? really, really dark. Really dark. How did you end up in that dark place? I don't want to go back to there. We're going to go back to that one, no. just so you can cut the ties to that lifetime. Allow any fear of going to come out through your feet. I feel burning on the bottom of my feet. Go to the point where your soul leaves your body. What do you sense happening now? Heat now coming around my back. See the colours and... How does it feel? Tingly everywhere and very light. I feel as if my arms will float. What are your thoughts as your soul leaves your body? Relief. And what did you learn in that lifetime? Did you learn anything in that lifetime? A loss. Seven, eight, eyes open, nine, ten, wide awake. Oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> I that cannot... seems surreal or...? Beyond surreal. It's nothing like I imagined it to be. It's the... I could never have imagined this in a million, billion, zillion years. I can be quite a tough cookie, you know, even though I might look soft and all the rest of it. I can be... I am strong. Um, but... It, and it's the strangest thing, and I have no, no, nothing against showing emotion and, and crying in public. I just don't happen to do that. I'm quite a private person. Having done it, I feel very liberated by it, and, and I actually feel a real sense of relief. Melinda's experience seems to have been particularly emotional, but Andrea is careful to use her healing therapy to help the regression subject deal with any personal issues. Melinda's past life will probably have had quite a profound healing aspect on her, allowing her to not be so overwhelming responsible for all children, not just her own. Although it's nice to be that kind and caring, sometimes it can be not in a balanced way. Melinda has certainly been on an emotional journey and the pain in her story seemed very real. But what are the other details? Are there any historical clues in Melinda's regression that place her in a particular era? Our roaming detective and expert historian Jules Hudson took on the case. 
A man in armor, clearly some kind of soldier. Talk about a needle in a haystack. Sword and a helmet. Don't know who they are. This could well be our toughest investigation yet. I can see a cross or a sword. I felt myself experiencing pain and anguish. See what facts emerge after the break. <laughs>